Welcome back to the show, decluttering, organizing. It's one of those chores that many of us don't like to do, but I have good news. You don't have to do it yourself. You can hire a fantastic company to do it for you, and that's who I'm going to introduce you to right now. She is the owner of Declutter for Good, organizing and decluttering. I'm joined by Martha Tobin. Martha, welcome to the show. And uh, Last time we spoke, you were under a different name, and you've made a name change since then. Um, tell us why the name change. Well, when we were Room to Breathe, uh, we were helping our clients get more space and more calm through organizing and decluttering, which is fabulous. It's what we love to do. But we've realized that through a very popular program that we have called the Donations That Do Good program, we're getting a lot more donations with our clients that are organizing and decluttering and they want to let go of items, items that are still in very good shape, continue to promote dignity. And so we've made it our goal and our mission to make sure that those items are loaded up in our cars and our SUVs at the end of every decluttering session. And we make a point of taking those items to local charities around Ottawa and making sure that those who need them are getting them. Martha, what are some of those uh, charities that you're donating to? Well, we do Salvation Army, Bronson Men's Center, a Caldwell Family Center, Eco Equitable, uh, Elizabeth Greer Foundation, uh, From House to Home, a number of the other refugee groups as well, Ottawa Humane Society, The Well, uh, many, many different charities. And we're always looking for others. So if any of your viewers want to reach out to me at, um, at our uh, email address that I think you're going to be showing on screen at one point, I would love and welcome that information. We're always looking to help other charities. It's perfect timing because we just brought up your, your information on screen as I'm talking to you. Well, let's pick your brain a little bit. Uh, when it comes to organizing and, and decluttering, what's, what's the first step people should, should make? Well, I think the first step is we want to work with clients to determine what the items are in the room that we're going to be focusing on that they have as their categories in that item in okay. that room rather so you know let's say we're working in somebody's home office which is you know a, a big one that we've done a lot of because of course everybody with covid had been working from home absolutely so you know you've got your you've got your reference materials you've got your uh your office supplies you've got your um, items for your uh, headphones, you've got your chargers and all that good stuff. So we basically start by sorting like with like, and then working with the client to determine what items maybe they no longer need, what items are just taking up room and collecting dust, because those are the items, if they're still in good shape, then we're going to package those items up and we're going to put them in our cars and make sure that they find a second life with someone who needs them in the community. Well, let's and talk, it gives the client right, more space. Let, let's talk about that, you know, choosing what to keep and, and what, what to get rid of. You know, that's always a difficult one. So what's one question that our viewers can ask themselves when they're going through and deciding what to keep or not to keep? Well, I think the key question is, do you need it, use it, love it, want it? Or right. is it in fact just taking up space and collecting dust? Because, you know, our homes really are our sanctuaries, or they certainly they should be. And they should always be a place that encourages us and moves us forward. And I find that when people have too much stuff, especially items that aren't uh, supporting and encouraging them, then what ends up happening is it takes them off course. And they're not the best version of themselves that they can be right at that moment. We're, we're having a look at some of the before and afters, and boy, oh, boy, what, what a huge difference when you look at that. Well, let's talk about some of the benefits. You know, what are the day-to-day -day benefits of organizing and decluttering your, your, your home, your life? I think the, the key one it, that I see every single day with clients is that we help clients get unstuck, Derek. So I, I find that when we have too much stuff, People get overwhelmed, right? They, right? they get fenced in, they get weighed down. And I mean, when people pick up the phone to call us at uh, Declutter for Good, it's because they've hit a wall usually. And they just, they almost don't even want to go into that room anymore. They just shut the door and walk away. Well, you know, there's so much that can be done with those items in that room to make sure that the items that you need, use, love, and want, we're separating those from the items that you don't need anymore. And by doing that, we're helping the client get unstuck and get clear on 
who they want to be right now and who they want to be moving forwards. Uh, quickly, before I run out of time, we just got about 40 seconds left. What's one trick you would tell viewers that they could do once a week to help declutter and organize? I would say do the Sunday sweep. So that's where you go around with maybe a big bin or a big bag and you go through your rooms, you know, maybe 15 minutes every Sunday. And you basically take those rooms out of um, where they don't belong and you bring them to where they do belong because it's going to ultimately save you time with general cleanup down the road. But it's also going to save your sanity when you're looking for that item later because now you know where it is. Exactly. Uh, Martha, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate you spending time with us today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Daytime Ottawa right after this.